I'll vest your mateys and prepare to set sail on the derpiest ship on the seven seas. <coughs> oh god. Sorry, I can't really talk like that for too long. Welcome everybody to some more Scrap Mechanics Saturdays. Make sure to leave a like guys if you are still enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel and want to continue to see more in the future. I don't remember why my skin is a girl, I don't remember doing that. Oh, almost fell off, ain't that real quick. There we go. We are sitting on the, the SS. I don't even know what this is, some sort of weird boat thing. Check it out, we got a nice little sail up there. Got uh, the poop deck as it were, and our little, uh, little steering wheel, it kind of works. But there is something to this. You may be thinking, why in God's name did you build- Oh, dang it, I almost showed it. Why did you build a boat in Scrap Mechanic? There's no water in Scrap Mechanic. This is true. But there is a fluid, get it? Because air is technically a fluid, whatever. Check it out, we got a rocket boat. Let's check it out. There we go. Oh, it looks so dumb. And off we go. Oh, we do have the little anchor back there, that's right. <laughs> now, I know this wouldn't really work in real life because the boat would just go in circles, because I mean, why are the oars going the other way? Uh, well, there's a reason for that, and I'll show you in a bit, but... Check it out, we actually got this thing uh, pretty darn stable. I wonder if I can actually walk around in it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. No. <laughs> well, that is unfortunate. Hmm. Look at it just dance its way up there. Previously, I was able to get out of my seat and walk around on it because it wasn't accelerating that much, but for some reason... Oh, last time I did that, the seat was in the middle. Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. Well... I have two options. I can either try and chase after it and go get it, or I can wait for it to fall because it won't, it shouldn't sit directly up against the skybox because of that sail. So that will make it go off balance and the thrusters will turn and it'll eventually fall down. So I'm gonna give it a bit, and see what happens. All right, well, it looks like it decided to stay up there. So I'm trying to build an ascent vehicle to go capture it or to rescue it, I suppose. You guys probably remembered this, uh, from the time I lost my airship, doing the exact same stupid thing. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. Uh, I guess that's just my luck. Let's get these going. So we basically just do a cube, a bunch of thrusters on it. Uh, try and sit right in the middle. Actually, we need a different seat because that one is even. Uh, we'll just do that. Okay, try and get it right in the middle. Let's go back one. Okay, that should be right in the middle. There you go. And then I have four buttons here just for balancing reasons. Hook that up there. I thought I said hook that up there. Ton of lift. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Off to rescue our vehicle. Hopefully we don't uh, lean too much. It looks like we're going relatively straight, so hopefully we don't lean too much and we can actually get over to it. We are going real fast. Wow. Okay. Hey there, buddy. Boink. Oh man, slammed right into that. Okay, should be able to get out, no problem. And now we gotta start heading over to it. Okay, managed to make a little plank headed over to it. It's a little bigger. This, hopefully this doesn't screw up the weight distribution too much. I mean, this thruster should be powerful enough that we can do that. Almost fell off. Whew. Oh, we're tilting, we're tilting. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's add some weight over here. Counterbalance that. Oh, we're still tilting. No! Okay, so I'm just upping the power of these thrusters a little bit. Just to make sure we can actually stay up here. That seemed, it seems to have fixed the tilting we had going on. Okay. We just gotta get on up. Oh, that tilting actually brought us quite a bit closer to it with the ship. Let's see, ooh, we're actually still tilting towards it. Okay, I'll grab it, but I want to see if I can jump on it. And almost there. We can do this. Uh, hey, we made it. All right. Let's hurry up and sit down. And down we go. <laughs> bye, rescue vehicle. Bye bye. I think she starts screaming. Ah! <laughs> I love their little faces. Down we go. This gives us a good opportunity to kind of check out the the, the boat. The ship, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, ooh, that grinding sound. That's new. And still going down. Let's go ahead and steady as she goes. There we go, loop, loop her around. Let's find a good place to land. 
Oh, uh, it's, it's having some of the same issues with the uh, direction. I do have suspension steering. Uh, I could add more. Try and fix this tilting. Kind of like what we did with uh, the invisible plane. Oh, forgot to put the uh, wheels down. Or not the wheels. Landing gear. There we go. Back on the ground. Well, there's quite a bit going on here. More than it, uh, there's uh, plainly apparent. So I'll try and walk you through it. Basically, these things we have this, these rotating at 180 degrees, and then those rotating at the opposites. Let's see, uh, which ones are going forward correctly? Okay, so I'll show you exactly why it doesn't work. Ah, oh, dang it. I can't see if I reverse it or not. Right, that one's blue and red, okay. No, we want to go the opposite way. There we go. Uh, why it doesn't work to have them all going the same way. It would be cooler, because it would look like an actual boat. Uh, kind of just paddling through the water. But unfortunately, after I was already pretty well invested in the des design, we realized it wasn't going to work. So the problem here is you go, whoop, so they all go forward, but it kind of rocks back and forth. And I mean, it's not bad, it's a lot less stable flight. It just looks so much cooler though. Dang it, I just hate how much cooler that looks. <laughs> just how, it's not bad. I mean, we're all kind of tilting forward. Uh, we'll try and fix that a little bit. Alright, going down. And we don't have any uh, roll control right now, so... Boop. And we got stuck in a tree. Oh no, there we go. Nailed it! Well, let's think about this for a second. So if I go up like that... Problem is... It's tilting down too far. So if we take these... There are some thrusters below deck. We're going to pop this open. Down here we have the suspension steering. And then some thrusters and random blocks. Let's get rid of those random blocks. Oh, and we have holes in our deck. So good thing we are in the water, otherwise we would, uh, you know, take on water and drown. There we go, close that up, paint it. Spick and span. Oh! Dang it! Alright, well, uh, let's move that real quick. Looks like I accidentally took off too much wood here. That is unfortunate. Okay, so we put that one back, and I think if we raise the power on these, maybe that'll keep our nose up? We'll try this out. Okay, where can I exit this that won't break the boat immediately? Okay, well there were stairs there, but nothing too bad. There we are. Place that floor. So now, I actually want to flip this around. Jeez, I'm so happy they added that. Oh, it's amazing. It's funny, because if in my old videos, I'm starting to get comments from people saying, Oh, what an idiot. You can just press Q to turn things on the lift. Not realizing that those videos were made months ago when that function was not actually in the game. Let's go up there. Oh, we're rocking even harder now. No, because that's not going to work. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I only raised them one each. Alright. Yeah, so I lowered them back down. Honestly, it's not bad. I don't mind the rocking, but it, it will start to affect our trajectory. So that's why we had them doing opposite of one another, just because it made the flight so much smoother. But, I mean, the whole point, I knew this thing was going to be super derpy when I started it. I knew that was an inevitability. Oh, four thrusters! No! Where are you going, you stupid boat? No! Well, that was actually pretty sweet. We're gonna get stuck here? <laughs> oh, God, my boat is stuck on this big water tower thing, whatever the hell it is. Oh, fine. Be that way. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, we've won a ground. We've, <laughs> we've run aground. Just like a real boat, right? See, again, it just looks so much more smooth now. But it doesn't really... It, it, I don't think it's as cool. So do I want it to work well or do I want it to be cool looking? That's what I'll have to decide. Okay, and we're raising the nose a little bit too much again. Landing gear away! Or anchor away or... Come about and... Boink! And did we land it? Yeah, nailed it. But honestly, all things considered, I think it's working pretty well. What I would like to add is an easier way get, to get on it. Because right now I just have to kind of climb up the side. But I'm thinking we can make like a pretty cool bridge system or a ramp system off the edges here. So I'm going to try that real quick. Yeah, alright, so we'll just cut a hole here. Oh, it's a little too far forward. Don't want to mess with those thrusters. There we go. Okay, I'll try some different things out here. Alright, so I've got something here. Let's test this out. So if I just hit... Nope, oh, wrong one. Uh, three, there we go. 
Alright, so that just raises that out like that. It's alright looking. I uh, could- oh no, that's- that's the wrong color. Okay. Brown, please. There you go. Keep it nice and consistent, even though it will be over there. And that should just- yep, go all the way down. Kind of have to do a little bit of a hop skip. But that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and- nope, wrong one. Let's do that, and let's see. I actually want this to come over completely. So if we do bury in there, like that, and then we have this first go. We want to go 90 to go. Nope, I had that negative 5. Okay. Come on, there you go. So we have this one first go 90 degrees, and then we have this one. It was a positive? Yeah, it was positive. Okay. So if we do that, hopefully that one will move out of the way. Wrong way. Wrong way, of course. It's always always the wrong way. I can never seem to get that right. And there we go. So it opens up. That one comes out. You climb on board. And you close it up. Cool. That actually works really well. Gonna paint that. Brown. And yellow. And there was a piece missing. And I didn't even lower the... <laughs> the whole point of this was <laughs> to make it easier to get back in. Oh, I'm so stupid. Alright, so there you go. We've got the ramp. Come on up. Hop into the, the seat. And it, the wheel in front of me doesn't do anything. I just hooked it up the steering. That was because it was someone's suggestion during the stream. And it, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to raise those up. And we are off. Set sail for the high seas in the derpiest boat you have ever laid eyes on. You filthy land lover. Alright, I'm going to stop with the terrible accidents, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed want to see more scrap mechanic in the future. If you have any suggestions on how to improve it, then be sure to let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.